three missions into this campaign, and we've changed sides twice. Remind me again why this chronic backstabber is considered an honorable man. That's right. Nobunaga gave him the troops that Mitsuhide used to attack his own lord. He was trusted with an army which he was supposed to use to reinforce Hideyoshi as more and more territory came under the Oda banner. This has definitely got to be awkward for the troops under his command at any rate. That's right, Mitsuhide. What you're doing is going to hurt the only people you've shown any care for in this campaign. Wonder why it is that in this game, at least, I feel more like the villain when I'm playing as Mitsuhide than when I'm playing as the supposed demon lord Nobunaga. Ugh. God, please don't tell me we're gonna have to personally seal off every gate. There's only so many places we can be in at once, and I'd rather get this done with fast. If you do not want to fight against a specific person, then you shouldn't have attacked the temple in the first place! I'm sorry, I thought we were fighting against Nobunaga because his tactics were too brutal. Why are we using the whole set fire to the area trick? Since, as far as I can tell, that was the most brutal thing he did in the previous mission. Especially since we're setting fire to a temple full of people who were our allies not too long ago. It doesn't look like Ranmaru is fighting the fire attack unit to me. Still, it's probably worth staying close to these guys so they don't get slaughtered by something popping up out of nowhere. <sighs> Come on, guys. We have the element of surprise on our side. Do you mean to tell me we're going to, that you're going to be getting your asses kicked this early in the mission? Seriously, why do we even bother having armies if they're going to be so consistently pathetic that it's not even funny? It's no wonder the first Dynasty Warriors was a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. Oh, you think your morale is bad? We've still got two more missions in this campaign, and 11 more characters to go before we get to the expansion. Just what was I even thinking diving into a game like this? Sure, Mass Effect 2 wore me down in several ways, and this felt like a good change of pace, but I'm not sure if I can keep this pace up. Thank you for starting the fire, even if it's starting in a spot you couldn't have possibly reached. I'm sorry, but that question would have made more sense if Nobunaga set the fires himself.
Why are you even bothering trying to escape when the army that's attacking you has been pretty damn pathetic? Um, Oichi? Shouldn't this be happening after your husband got killed by Nobunaga? You should certainly know the temptation to fight your brother better than most when we look at the timeline of events. Ugh. Who am I kidding? The campaigns don't seem to pay attention to any of the events of earlier or later campaigns, which makes playing through as all the characters feel like even more of a chore. Quite romantic, milady. Unfortunately, history itself says today is the day Nobunaga meets his end. And while I'm not a fan of Mitsuvide's motivations as they've been shown in this campaign, I'm not going to allow his destined kill to slip away on your say so. Well, that takes care of Uichi and No. The only question is if they're dead or if they're gonna show up for revenge in a later mission. So, one confirmed survivor at least. Ah, so Uichi is coming back, but no is done for the campaign. I suppose that means she's going to be with Nobunaga soon enough, assuming we don't screw up. Speaking of screwing up, why is the enemy getting reinforcements as the mission goes on, when we're the ones that should be constantly streaming into the area? At least Mitsumide acknowledges he's going to go to hell for this. Not that Japanese mythology has a heaven as far as I can tell. Their land of the dead, Yomi, takes the wicked and innocent alike, and their version of heaven is just for the gods alone, not yeah. It's probably just a translator's choice to use the word hell, not the game designers really, so... Eh, what can you do? Right, we're just going to ignore Ranmaru some more as we go straight for the man of the hour. We should be able to get the job done before Ranmaru is finished with that generic officer back there. I believe he's saying that somehow he can slay sorrow itself. Which is rather bullshit since what we're doing is at the very least going to cause a lot of pain for a lot of people in the immediate future. And it's certainly not going to get us to peace any faster. It'll take more than killing the man at the top to rule the land. You have to kill all those who refuse to bow to you, from Nobunaga's rivals to the subordinates who don't recognize you as his successor. Huh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting a cutscene after Mitsuhide said his triumph line. Bullshit! You've shown no faith in anyone! Hehehehe. <laughs> 
人を信じる光秀が業を背負うか Oh, please tell me that's a hint that the ghosts of Nobunaga is gonna attack us at some point later on. Virtuous? Just what virtue has he shown in this campaign?